All right, Jackie, I feel like we've been getting some rain, I guess just not quite enough, but looks like we're getting it again today. Yeah, we're gonna be tracking more of those scattered showers and thunderstorms across the area later on this afternoon. The radar though, from yesterday, we're talking about some of those heavier downpours that pushed through the DC metro area, then moved over towards the Baltimore metro area. Late yesterday evening, it did produce some storm reports there, even some downed trees as well. But out there this morning, we're tracking mainly dry conditions, but just a wider view of the map. We are seeing the leading edge of some showers back over towards Clarksburg in West Virginia. That will continue to work its way eastward. So we'll be watching out for those showers and also thunderstorms that will continue to work their way in. So we do have this trough just back out towards our west. That's an area of elongated low pressure. And so we do have that boundary just ahead of that cold front. We're watching as that cold front will swing through later on today, providing us with more of that wet weather. So in terms of the timing of the showers and thunderstorms for the day today, it looks like that leading edge pushing into our far western areas and the I-81 corridor. By about noon today. We do have some pockets of some steady to heavy rain at times and that will continue to advance closer towards DC. I would think in between 4 or 5 p.m. is when we could see that leading edge push its way through as long as it stays together. Then we also have some more of those isolated showers and storms behind that initial line of showers and thunderstorms. So we do have maybe a couple rounds of those showers and storms that will push their way through for the day today. Then overnight tonight, a gradual clearing of those skies and we start off tomorrow under a mix of sun and clouds. Temperatures in the upper 60s to low 70s to start off your Wednesday before we could see that stray shower or storm pop up later on tomorrow afternoon. Today with more clouds and that threat for rain, high temperatures will be into the 80s today, while tomorrow we see those 90s returning across the area uh, aside from that stray shower or storm that could be produced. So again, highs today likely staying into the 80s for much of the area. We could reach 90 in Frederick and Martinsburg, but overall most areas will be the 80s. Tomorrow we're back into those 90s, going with a high of 96 in D.C. as well as Fredericksburg, 95 for Hagerstown. Today, though, we'll be on the humid side, although high temperatures will be just below normal for this time of the year. As we look ahead over the next several days, so that front clears the area. Although it's a cold front, temperatures tomorrow will be much hotter than the day today. Warm front will lift in as we look ahead towards uh, later on Wednesday into Thursday, and then by Thursday later on in the day, that's when we could see a stray shower or storm popping up yet again. By Friday, uh, we're going to continue to notice some of that wet weather still sticking around. So Friday looks to be the wettest out of the work week along with today. I would say today and Friday would be the best chance that you do see rain across the area. By Saturday, we're starting off dry before a chance for some showers and storms develop into the afternoon hour. So in terms of that seven day outlook, we go from those highs today into the upper 80s by tomorrow back in the 90s. We do see a warming trend through the end of the week. We're talking mid upper 90s for Thursday and Friday. Falling back into those low 90s as we look ahead towards this upcoming weekend, both Saturday and Sunday, bringing some scattered thunderstorms out there Saturday, isolated thunderstorms out there on Sunday, followed by some storms possible as we look ahead towards next Monday. Shanika is back with the on-point look at those roadways, but you seeing out there this morning.